Hello, I'm Stephanie Wilkerson, and I'm here with Charles Beber, and he's part of the Tyramax Fishing Pro team. And we just want to say congrats to you on your finishes at the FLW Tour on Gunnersville and the Everstart Championship on Kentucky Lake. Thank you. Okay, so Gunnersville was your first tour level event. Tell me about the pressure of the star-studded field and with the best of the elites in the FLW Tour. Well, it was a star-studded field. Uh, you know, we hit that one just right. There were uh, a, a large number of Elite Series guys, all the top names on the Elite Series, as well as the top names on the FLW Tour fishing there, because it was the last event of the year. So uh, I just tried to concentrate on the fish and not concentrate on who was there and get caught up in all that, because it would be intimidating uh, if you started just looking at the names that were on the list. And all the guys, most of the guys even live there. That's like their home water. So uh, just try to concentrate on the fish and not let that part bother me. Okay, great. Okay, can you give me some insight on the patterns and the lures that you use at Gunnerville, Gunnersville? Yes. The uh, well, going into the the event, doing my homework, it was it was clear that a lot of guys are going to be throwing a frog or flipping grass. There's a, there's huge mats of hydrilla and milfoil on that lake, so I I did my best to kind of get away from that. I didn't want to get caught up in doing the same thing. It's kind of hard to win when you know most of the fields are doing the same thing. So. I went ahead and, and uh, I fished my strength. My strength is throwing a crankbait. So I threw a crankbait and a rattle trap and in practice was able to catch some fish on it. So I uh, went ahead and decided to go ahead and do that in the tournament. And, uh, and so that's what I caught most of my fish on. It ended up being a deep diving crankbait. Uh, I, had to, I varied from a rattle trap to a deep diving crankbait. But the tournament was won on this new rig called an Alabama rig. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't find out about that until after day two. Uh, so. Uh, didn't get to throw that in the tournament, but that was the deal. Most of the guys in the top 20 were throwing that rig, and uh, because the fishing was tough on Gunnersville until that was introduced. So, what about on Kentucky Lake at the Everstart Championship? What did you do there? Well, going from Gunnersville to Kentucky Lake, we managed to get our hands on a couple of Alabama rigs, practice oh. the Alabama rig to just go ahead and practice with it for the time. I, I scrambled around trying to make some. It was just really hard to get them because everybody in the country was trying to get their hands on them. Uh, did manage to, to finally get a couple right before the tournament, and I threw the Alabama rig the entire event. I caught everything I weighed on that on that rig. That's an interesting lure. It is very interesting. Okay, the 2011 season was a great year for you. A runner-up in the Angler of the Year AAA level. In 2012, you were doing a full FLW tour with the Open and the Major season, and for the season. What are your expectations this year? Uh, my expectations are um, to get Rookie of the Year. Uh, I'd really like to do that. Uh, I'd also, uh, like most of the guys on tour, would like to get Angler of the Year. Also would like to win a couple of tournaments. I mean, it's not unrealistic. A lot of the tournaments are setting up well for my style of fishing, especially the first four or five. And so uh, I'm confident that I can do well and, and you know, if things can go my way. Uh, I don't know the bodies of water we're going to, so there is a learning curve that goes along with getting on a, 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 on a tour level. I mean, these guys have been to these lakes and I haven't, so they have a little bit of an advantage. but. Uh, uh, you know, God willing, I'll be able to, uh, uh, you know, go out there and hang with them. That's great. Okay, the first event of the season is, is at the Big O, better known as Lake Okeechobee. It's in the first week of February. Any predictions on this one? Yeah, there. Um, it, it's it's likely going to be a sight fishing tournament. There'll be some flipping of mats. I mean, there's no secrets really on Okeechobee. Uh, the, nobody's going to surprise anybody with the deep crankbait bite or anything like that. So um, I do predict, though, that the Tire Max team will do well. Everybody on the team is really uh, good at sight fishing and shallow water fishing. So and that's it'll 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 fit everybody's style. Um, and the, the predictions of the weights that could be anything. They had a they had a, a slugfest this year over there. Next year, who knows? But it but it more more than likely. Sight fishing and flipping will be involved heavily. Okay, well again, we want to congratulate you on your 2011 season and more to come from Charles Beaver during the 2012 season. Thanks. Thanks.